Okay guys, welcome to day one of the making of Snap Factory. I'm writer, producer and director of film Luke Lorna. Now guys, I just wanted to show you whereabouts, where I'm up to, what I'm doing, what I'm planning on doing. Just so that you get a, um, a full idea in your head uh, of a before and after. Um, this project is very big in its size and its scale. Uh, and last night when I... I, I drove down from Dimbula to Gisborne to um, to start beginning to set up the uh, location, the official set uh, for the Snap Factory. Um, we spent a day just going over the set itself, uh, analysing everything, figuring out what we're going to do exactly, where things are going to be positioned. We want to try and make it convenient for setup purposes as well as um, lighting all that type of stuff we want to make it convenient we want to have it try and get it all in the one location if we can so that we don't have to keep jumping back and forward all the time so basically I'm, I'm here to show you and tell you what I'm planning on doing this is the snap factory now and I'll do a, an after it's done as well um, so we've just gone over a few things little ideas things we're going to planning on doing all that type of stuff and I'm, I'm not fully satisfied yet, but I will be. Um, but I can definitely let you know now what I'm planning on doing right now uh, in, a, in the next few, few minutes' time. So what we're going to do, guys, is in that corner right up there, from there right across to here, will be black material. All this will be covered with black material. Also, you won't see any of this type of stuff in here whatsoever. This is the main door that Dex, Krauser, Dr. Lambert, Valerie and, and um, Celine's character come through. So what we're going to be planning on doing with the doors guys is we're going to we're going to strip the whole door in black plastic, thick black plastic and we're going to cut strips strips down the door like that so it makes it look like a um like a meat factory type of look and feel so when they come in and out they come through plastic sheeting um it just adds a whole new element to it it also it also is a is a great way of faking day and night depending on when we're shooting um it can actually block out the light all that type of stuff so that's another nice little idea now all this wall here guys, right up, keep going, keep going, keep going, right up to here will be covered in black material, so, excuse me, all this wall, wall here will be covered in black material, right up to that join. Now I don't know if I'm going to keep going or not, I'm still up in the air about that, this area here will be left open for the time being, we may have to black put something up. Depending on the angles we shoot, guys, but this area that you're what that you're looking at right here, this right up to this join, up to this metal frame, all this in here is going to be the isolation room where Michael uh, Michael gets thrown into with J with Jim's character who plays John McCulloch in the film. Um, so yeah, this is where it's all happening, guys. So when the boys. What we're going to do is we're going to f do a little bit of trick photography, a bit of faking here. All this whole door frame is going to be covered in plastic sheet with strips once again because we love that whole look. Um, we've just got to do a bit of experiment. We can take it down if necessary. We can do some plenty of different things, but this is what we've got at the moment sorted. That light, for example, is going to be hanging above Michael's chair in the, in the, in the center of the snap factory. We're going to, so we're going to strip doors this entire area here so what's going to happen is in the film this is going to be black sheet material you're going to see michael getting thrown through all that type of stuff and we're going to put like a door sound effect beforehand so you, you can imagine a door going slam and then michael getting thrown through the plastic sheeting into the room he comes up here michael sits there jim's character is about here and they're having a conversation with one another so that's what we're planning to do for that. Uh, right in this area, whole area here is where I'm planning on doing the, the actual snap factory itself. Um, Michael's chair will be positioned right in the centre of the room. We were originally going to have it about the here, but the, like I said, I've come to the conclusion that the further back it is, the more 
space we can give the black material the more of a void like it's going to be the more you can do with lighting because as soon as that light starts blaring and we start chucking lights in here you can actually it'll show up the material um, we're going to try and make it as black as we can by using this type of stuff here this um, spray paint so we'll see how we go but I'm just up in the air about how big I'm going to make this actual snap factory because I know if I chuck the material up here and close it off like I wanted to do it's going to be pretty small and in terms of lighting that light's going to bounce off that material if it's not black enough and it's going to cause issues so the further back I can push the material the better it's going to be and it's just going to save us a shitload of time because if that's the case on the day then we're going to have to shift it anyway so I want to make sure I get it right first uh, and according to the photo I took with that light going with the lights completely off in the shed and everything was black it pretty much illuminated this entire area so what if this is probably a little bit too small so and I'm trying to bring it into this scale here for the film and frankly I think that if I do if I'm planning on putting the black sheet up filling this gap up here filling this area up here and cutting it off here it's going to be too small and you're going, to, you're going to notice it, you're going to see it so the further back I push this material guys, the better it's going to be, the more void like it's going to look and I don't care if I need to buy some more material I'm just trying to play it safe here and I want to do everything right now these things here we were talking about whether or not we should incorporate this whole pole, these poles into the scene or not and we can hang like fucking jumper leads and like just, you know, some sick shit. You know, some, some real, you've got all these tools to work with. Just make it look all grotty and dirty and all that type of stuff. Because it, it does, but it's supposed to look somewhat industrial, somewhat like a factory, somewhat like, you know, all that type of stuff. You've got these poles here which are going to play in really nice with the scenery, with the, with the look and feel of the snap factory as well, like um, water pipes, which is the look I was after, the, the look and feel I was after. I want the sound effects to be playing a, a huge part into this as well. So, you know, like dripping taps. Uh, we put a bit of industrial sm fog light stuff in here as well. So maybe, I don't know, if, if we should use a, a fog machine or something like that to get the real effect. Or I can just do it in post with special effects, but I might run that by my DOP and see what he thinks. Um, but other than that, that's about it. So, so far, I can lock off that we're going to be doing this wall first, do this, do all that wall right up to the end there, and that bit so far. We'll do the plastic strips up, um, and we'll do this door as well with the strips. We can do that now. But as for the moment to finish off the snap factor, I literally do not know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to have to play it. It's just going to depend on how much material we've got left over. All that type of stuff's going to come into it. But if we can manage to push, if we push the material back right up to here and fill up this entire area, it's going to look way more void-like. It means we can muck around, with, we can do a lot more with lighting, we can muck around more with it, and it's going to be better for the overall production, I think. And that is about it, guys. So I just sort of keep you posted, updated, let you know what's going on. But that's what we're planning on doing anyway. So, okay, I'm Luke Lorna and I'm signing out. Have a good one, guys. See ya.